Hey, what's up guys? We're gonna do something a little bit different today. I had the opportunity to go to one of the launch events for the for Super Mario Odyssey. It was kind of cool because they're only doing it in five cities. They were doing it in LA, they were doing it in Chicago, and today they were doing it in Philadelphia, where we're located. Um, so we got to play Mario Odyssey for about 10 minutes. It was a cool event. It was basically right outside the Rocky Steps, so Mario was there, there was people in Mario hats running up the steps doing the Rocky run. But we did get to play the game, and we got to play the uh, Desert Kingdom. And it was really interesting because I was not a believer in Mario Odyssey when it when it was first announced. I'm like, oh, you know, it's going to be more of the same. How can this formula become any better? But what we got in the gameplay that we had was was like a really polished, really, really awesome game. Ba I mean, basically, we got to use Cappy to take control of Bullet Bill. We got to run through a town where there was a bunch of different people. I was able to collect some of the currency for that world, which I know will let you buy the clothes and things like that. I got three moons in it, which was cool. One of them was simply just get to the top. Another one of them was I had to use Bullet Bill to go across a long gap. And the last one was really interesting because there's basically these rock creatures that have shades and if you take control of them, the shades allow you to see invisible platforms and in that it wasn't like you collected one moon basically you could collect you had to collect five different moon pieces that made the final moon one of the things that was really cool being at this this public event was listening to what everybody else had to say about the game uh, somebody ended up in an ice cave uh, other people's went completely different routes than I did and saw completely different things it was really exciting to play the the retro parts of the game and they, they really didn't feel jarring it was like Lake Between Worlds is a great game but when you go from being 2D to being 3D or, or going from being a, a flat character on a wall to being a character moving around the world um, there's a there's a little bit of a delay it's it's a jarring change it definitely feels like two separate modes in this game when you go from being 3D Mario to being 2D Mario it's it's very rapid and you can even do things like if you break through the ceiling up to uh, of the 2D plane you could end up in a 3D section it's it's really interesting how they they seamlessly fit together and i thought that that was one of the strengths of the game a another thing just just talk just talking to everyone i mean this is a huge well polished game i mean we have a mario game that has a map and fast travel that's that's pretty crazy. The difficulty was not was not hard, but you know we were playing a, a tutorial level. I was I went from not looking forward to the game to somewhat looking forward to the game to playing the game today and really looking forward to Mario Odyssey. So it's it's very rare that a game lives up to lives up to the hype or or you know <laughs> generates it hype on merit. I guess is is the comment. You know, the, the common example today is New, no, no Man's Sky, right? Or uh, Peter Molyneux games, you know, they have so much hype associated with them. And then the game actually comes out and it's not like that. I think probably Mario Odyssey looks so good because, I mean, they had so much time to develop it. I feel I feel like the game's been in development since, you know, the Wii U era and, you know, deep within the Wii U era. And, you know, they've just been polishing it and polishing it and polishing it since. The graphics, seeing Mario on a pseudo next-gen console is, is pretty cool. The game is beautiful. The art direction is beautiful. It's, it's awesome. So, you know, we were lucky we got to see it early. There were some cool giveaways that we got, that everybody got who was there. You got uh, postcards. There were these Cappy Mario caps, which are pretty cool. And, I mean, really high-quality Cappy caps, too. It's not... They, they weren't, like, cheap promotional items. Um, they're giving out stickers to everyone. You get your picture taken with Mario, which was cool. We saw a lot of a lot of our, our YouTube friends there. We, we were able to see uh, PK Sparks. He has a great channel. You should check that out. Akinola, who, who works with us now, seeing him was pretty cool. Just a bunch of different people. It was, it was a lot of fun to go out to an event in our city where people we're, we're close to are, are there. So yeah, I mean, expect more Mario Odyssey coverage from us soon. 
it was an exciting event. I hope to do more events, you know. We don't really get to do much with Nintendo, but you know, this is the first time really we get we get to see see something early and, and, and play their games. So anyway, enjoy enjoy the footage from Mario Odyssey that we had today and looking forward to do more videos on it.